It's been a while since I've done a video with the carbon assault monster truck, also the SMT and a few others. But anyway, um, we got the carbon assault right here. I've got the new Michelin monster truck tires from RC4 Drive and the new igniter wheels. I say new wheels, they're new to me. Um, now the carbon assault comes with these wheels. I've never taken them apart until I got these set right here. So yeah, we're gonna get a good look at all this stuff on the table and then take the carbon assault for a drive. Take a look. Let's get a quick look at these tires right here, guys. This is an X2S3 compound tire. So it's the same compound that they use on the crawlers. So it's a kind of a sticky tire. I mean, it. Oh, my table's dirty. But um, it's got some nice texture on the side. The beadlock rings are metal. Uh, the wheel does come apart in the middle. So those bolts down in there, they are not fake. They are the real deal. The hub comes out. You can see one right there. You got to take that out to put the wheel and all on. Uh, the compound looks good. The tread looks good. The rubber, I mean, it's just very nice setup. I need to clean my table too. But anyway, let's go ahead and get these things open up and I'll show you guys the wheels and tires a little bit closer. This is a serious wheel, guys. I <laughs> mean, serious wheel. This is it taken apart. Right here is the back side with the hex and all that on there, the hub. Um, front side right here. Uh, you got your hardware that came out of this. The beadlock rings are obviously metal and you can see every other bolt is what you have to take out. So you don't have to take all of them out. And those actually fit into the blind holes right there. And that's your hub. The hub comes out with only two bolts. The top one and the bottom one. You can look at the orientation of them right here. Looks like I am upside down. Right there. So, um, wheel right there, the tire. Um, it's got a real thick bead to it. I mean, it is built to fit these wheels. Um, it should fit a normal clawed wheel. They have a nice wide bead on them as well. The foam is pretty darn stiff. Um, but I guess it's what they figured out would work, right? So anyway, we we'll go ahead and get this thing mounted up and show you guys how to do this. Once you get the wheel into the tire, you're gonna want to make sure that the wheel comes all the way out like this. This way you don't have any issues. And this is why we kinda gotta take the wheel apart inside of the tire. And I'll show you guys how to take care of that. But you wanna make sure this is pushed all the way down into there. It's a big, deep groove to get this thing all the way down into there. And I'll show you guys why, here in just a second, why this is important. Um, because if you don't have it all the way in, the bead lock ring will actually clamp down on that and you won't have a really messed up looking bead. Probably still stay though, but just really, ooh, really be messed up. So you want that to be down in there just about like that. I got a little bit more right here. Once you get that like that, then you take that ring and just bolt it right on. Once you get that part done, now it's time to move to the back side, And this is where things get interesting. No matter how I move the foams inside, you know, pushing it over like this and all that, I can't get the bead to go all the way down in there like it needs to. And if you're going to do it like this right here, you're going to end up, the bead, the bead lock ring is just not going to be right. So this is the ring that this, this is the uh, wheel that I had taken apart. So those two screws are going to come out, but notice everything is pretty much in the tire and you need this way because the wheel is actually keyed. There's actually uh, three dots, uh, raised dots in here that key the back side of the wheel to the front side of the wheel. So you kind of got to put it in like this. So for me, take those two bolts out and now I'll be able to get to the back side. With the wheel separated in the middle, you can get that back bead lock to sit all the way down into there. So now that I've got both the back and the front done, now it's simply time to pull the wheel together and that's just kind of simple really. Just put the screws right back in, just like that one is. And that's it. Now you will need a really deep wrench to get all the way down into there. So uh, yeah, maybe a seven millimeter nut driver or something, but definitely, yeah, that's a deep wheel hex. It came with the tires on the right much more aggressive um in my opinion better for the dirt like i've got but these right here though these are different i like the i like the more scale aspect of those tires let's look at the truck these things are coming on obviously the carbon assault i've got it set up with the shocks here um i've got the metal c hubs 
and the knuckles. That was a uh, that was something this thing should have came with out of the box, but I've got them on here. I got a Sidewinder 4 ESC, and what do I have for a motor? Oh yeah, I got a uh, Asus by Three Brothers RC. Wow, it's been a while since I've had this. Got an old um, Hobby King 5298B servo. Uh, let me see, are we still together? On oh, I can't even see that. <laughs> But anyway, guys, there it is. Time to go play. And there it is, guys, ready to go. Ha ah, ah. ha. Change the servo saver out. This is the Vitavon saver off the uh, Mega Rift. So this thing, ready to get this thing outside. Well, I gotta tell you, it's been a while since I've driven a truck like this. Lots of time with the LMT, but that's just kind of a whole different ball game there, you know? <laughs> Steering is a little bit loose. Handled really good. Feels a lot more nimble than what the uh, LMT is. It's a lot lighter. Doesn't quite have the speed of the LMT, but it's not really meant to. Not really what this truck is meant for. <laughs> There's a very real possibility this video may end here in just a few seconds. If it survives this, that'll be pretty darn good for durability. Let's see here. Yep. <laughs> I don't even have enough speed to really get across it. <laughs> it's just not geared for that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, I was in high gear. I forgot this has a two-speed transmission. This is low gear. I forgot all about the two-speed. But I was in high speed. <laughs> I was like, man, I got a faster gear. Uh, no, I got a slower gear. Ah, oh, I got it. Got it. <laughs> it did get it. Now I'm going back for more. And uh, this is when things are probably not going to be too good. Let me get this in back. Oh, I'm missing it now. Where am I at? Where am I at? Way over there. Yeah, this is not what it's meant for. <laughs> this is more or less meant for like racing and stuff, but it's not, I don't quite have it set up good for racing. That's a pretty hard landing. Let's try some more of that first gear that I forgot about. <laughs> Why? Why do we have a first gear in this? I mean, uh, maybe if I change the ESC and put 6S on it? Let's see if we can have some fun over here in the slick.
on something. <laughs> you can definitely tell this is much more. <laughs> really a whole different style of driving than what the than what the LMT is meant for. Well guys there you go. Out there pretty much any tire works. I feel that the uh, pointed edge tires would actually be the better tire for out there as far as for gripping and all that. These tires I believe will shine when it comes to like a polished concrete floor or indoor tracks and stuff like that, the carpet and all that. That's where I really think these tires will shine. So, but for me, I've just got the outside and I wanted something to do with this truck. So anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. We'll put links to the tires and the mods to the truck that I've got done and all that down there as well. So guys, check that description, use those links, make sure you're subscribed and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.